One of those habits of a man you should not marry is he's complacent. All right. Now, I want to read you the exact definition bef before I break this down. All right. The definition of complacent is showing smug or uncritical. I really want to highlight that. Uncritical satisfaction with oneself and one's achievements. All right. So you, you heard me mention how women a lot of times get married thinking or hoping for things to change. Not understanding that they're dealing with a complacent man. A man who does not see the need to change. And let's not even use the word change. He's not even seeing the need to grow. He's not seeing the need to evolve. He thinks where he's at is not just good enough. There's not a damn thing wrong with it. Notice because he's complacent. He has uncritical satisfaction. He doesn't hear a damn thing you have to say about where he is. And I've seen so many women really convince themselves that they will be able to pull this man out of his complacency and make him into greater. Or I can show him or motivate him to reach his full potential. But if he is complacent, he sees no need to go higher than what he is. So here's one example. I, I remember doing a quote on IG recently about would you marry a man? And I think I want to say I said $40,000, okay? Would you marry a man who's making $40,000? And I said the words for the rest of his life, all right? And I did that for a reason. And I got a lot of responses from women saying, oh, as long as he has the right mindset, even though I already told you it's, it's capped at 40 grand, right? If he has the right mindset, he has a plan in place. I also heard, oh, I can help him to get better. A lot of the women who voted yes, they would take that man, took him with the condition in their mind that it still would change. Rather than accepting the reality, he does not want to change. And we've got to realize, and this is not just a woman thing. In life, I have learned Certain people are not wired to desire more. Certain people don't have that level of ambition, all right? They are literally okay where they are. And I'm not saying this to talk down on these people or to make them seem bad or evil because I'm going to explain how complacency isn't always this horrible thing when you look at it from a different perspective. But I've met people who can make the same amount of money every year and it's a low amount or what may be considered low to many. But to them, it meets their needs. They're okay with it, all right? And this is where you've got to start understanding the, the where it's not even just complacency anymore. It's their content. They are literally content with where they are. And when you try to get with a man like this, even more so marry him, you've got to really ask yourself, Am I okay if this never changes? Am I okay? Can I be content with his level of contentment? Can, can I accept where he sees his peak, not where I want to drag him to? Because if you catch yourself or put yourself in a scenario where you're trying to drag him past the complacency, past that place of being content, you now will create an unnecessary burden on yourself and be extremely frustrated because you're essentially dragging him kicking and screaming. And on his end, he will develop a very strong resentment because you are not accepting him where he is. And again, if you think marriage is going to make him step up even more, well, hell, we, we're going to have maybe kids one day and this and that. No. If his mind, if his wiring says this level's okay, you got to either, again, can you take it for what it is or no? So if he is complacent and you know you want more than what he is accepting, this is not a man to marry. This is not a man to entertain. And you've got to really understand and accept that. Now, listen, I do think that a man can change. I do think that there are men who meet women and they are inspired. But I do believe that those men who want more, 
They already have something in them that wants it. Sometimes they need a kick in the pants. Sometimes they need some good encouragement and support. But they already have a wiring within that says go for more. And so this is why it's very important to evaluate it on, from that end of, okay, how are they really built? But it's more important that they find this within themselves because now here's the other problem. If this is a scenario where you can help push him, if you are the thing, the only thing that helps get him to the next level, then now you put the burden on you to always have to put him on your back and get him there. Like, don't get me wrong. As a woman, when, when you get with the right guy, I, I do believe, as I said, marriage can magnify and it can magnify the good. And if he has that work ethic, that desire, that ambition, you can magnify it. But if you are the only source of what motivates him, it's not his purpose, it's not a desire for self, it's, not, it's nothing else but you, then when you want a day off from having to push and, and motivate, what's he going to do, slack off now? Now he doesn't have it in him? When you're not staying on top of him and, and, and saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, like, you, you don't want to have to deal with that forever. Now, listen, if you're going to tell me that's okay for you for the rest of your life to always be the one pushing, 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 all right, cool, do your thing. But what I have seen is that women, women don't mind giving a push, but they don't want to have to carry. You understand? Know they don't want to have to continuously carry this man. So to, to wrap this point up, if he is complacent and content and you are not accepting of the level that he has embraced in his life, that is not a man you should marry. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Some men will play games. You're probably thinking they all play games, <laughs> but no, some men, some men. But in this context, it's not playing games to manipulate you, hurt you, 